Hello, welcome back to Calabama Cooking with Chef Lorius. We are back in the Love Lab today. We are making seared scallops with a lemon cream sauce. This is gonna be delicious. You want some of this, trust. Let's cook. Let's start with our ingredients. Here we have sea scallops. Now sea scallops and bay scallops are two different types of scallops. <laughs> you wanna do this with sea scallops. Those are the nice large ones. You want this, okay? And make sure they're dry. We'll talk about that more in a minute. We have some lemons, some cream, some white wine, some shallots, garlic, thyme, butter, and parsley. It's really not a lot of ingredients. It's what you'd expect to see in a really good lemon cream sauce. So let's get into it first with these scallops. Now, when you're gonna sear scallops, it's very important that they're dry, okay? If there's any moisture in them, it's gonna cause a problem for you. You're gonna get a lot of popping and make a mess. So I always like to put them on a paper towel, cover them with the paper towel, and then go back and make sure I've Dab them with the paper towel to get as much moisture out of these as possible because dryness is very important in searing. So we are going to season these with salt and pepper. We're gonna start here and season generously. Don't be afraid, don't be shy. Sometimes people say, oh, that's too much salt. But you know what, it's really not. And you know why it's not? Because as you cook it, some of this is going to come off in the pan. So really, it's really okay, okay? It's really okay. I promise you, I wouldn't steer you wrong. Now I start off just seasoning usually the top side, like so, okay? And I am heating up our skillet as we speak. And I'm going to add a little bit of butter into our skillet because butter will give us a nice flavor. But again, the smoke points are different with the butters and the oils. We need a little more time for it to get hot, so we wanna use the olive oil to give us a higher smoke point. But the butter will give us a nice flavor. And when you're searing, you don't need a ton of oil because you're not frying, okay? We're not frying, we're just searing. So let's let this melt, this butter melt, and get ready to go. So it's very important when you sear that your oil, your fat mixture, I'm just gonna say fat, is hot, okay? Because you do not want this to be sort of hot because you will not get that nice searing one. So you see how this is a little, it's talking to us, it's saying, I'm ready, I'm ready. So we're gonna take one scallop and we're gonna start by putting this one season side down and let's see what happens. Now you see how that's in there? I think that actually needs to be hotter. We should have a little more searing action. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna let it sit there because we're showing you how, how this hat works, but I'm gonna let it get a little bit hotter before I put the other ones on. Okay, it looks like this is a nice temperature. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the rest of our scallops down and place them around your skillet. I kinda like to just do a circle to start with. And as you put them in, the oil's gonna cool down. So you're gonna hear a little bit of difference in the sound, but that's okay. The other key to searing is once you put these in here, leave them alone, okay? I know it's tempting to go back and want to mess with it and look at it and all of that good stuff, because I want to do it too. I get it, I get it. But leave it alone so it can do its thing. See that? And scallops cook very quickly. You're gonna do about three to four minutes on each side, especially on the first side. And then when you turn it over, you can reduce the heat and let a lot of the residual heat in the pan cook the other side. All right. See how our pan is not overcrowded, but we've got all of those scallops in there. Now we're gonna go ahead and season the other side. Again, generously with this salt. You see how I'm not touching it? I'm not moving these scallops. I'm letting them develop a nice crust. That's the key to the crust. Don't touch it. And I'm gonna put the pepper on the side of here. Okay. Now what you'll notice on your scallops, as you start to cook them and they start to get more done, You'll start to see the crust forming on the side, okay? I'm gonna pick one up to show you for demonstration, but I don't want you to mess with it. But you see how it starts forming this crust? See how that starts? 
You don't want to take it off at this point because it hasn't seared well, but you can notice it's starting to do the crusting on the side. And a little test you can do to see if they're ready is very gently give it a little nudge on the top. If it moves easily, then your whole crusting has happened. It's ready to move. If it's giving you any resistance or it doesn't just easily move, the full crust has not formed, in which case you want to let it sit a little bit longer. That makes sense? Just a little tip. See, so I just go back and check them. And you might be thinking, oh my God, they're cooking too long. No, they're not. They're fine. <laughs> See, I'm moving these a little bit. Not quite, it's not quite crusted. Almost. This was our test one. Let's take another peek. See, it's coming. And it's good to just switch it around, make sure all that butter and fat get everywhere. And also, as the bottom is cooking and as it's searing, it's going to start cooking up the scallop as well. So it's going to begin to get done from the bottom up. So when you turn it over, the residual heat will let the other side cook, but a lot of it's already happening on the inside. Okay. So our scallops look pretty good. You see how you can tell they're starting to cook through? And look, as I push that, you see how I push that just a little bit and it moves? That's because the crust has formed. Look at that. Beautiful. See that? That's what you want. Oh, you guys, they're beautiful. They're like a family. Oops, there you go. <laughs> Now the other side is not going to sear like the first side. That's just that's just the way searing goes. Now I recommend though that you turn the heat down as you start to turn them over because they cook a lot of the way already. Oops, there we go. <laughs> Aren't these beautiful? A beautiful golden brown on there from just leaving it alone and not touching it. Let it go for four and three to four minutes. Just like that. Now, I've turned them all over and I've turned the heat off so they're just finishing cooking a little bit through. You don't want to overcook your scallops. If you overcook them, they're going to be rubbery and they won't taste good. And that's when people say, eh, I really didn't like scallops. They're probably overcooked. But at the same time, we're not making sushi. Find the happy ground people, okay? <laughs> but you see this? This is perfect. And you see how they're nice and firm when you push them? Oh, yes. And that heat is just finishing up. And again, the heat is turned off at this point. So this is residual heat. That's why the heat is slowing down in the sizzle, but it's still cooking. Now we're going to start taking these out. Oh, yes. See, this is beautiful. These are opaque white. That's how you know they're done. Look at that. One side. Oh, yeah. Look at that. She's a beaut! And you can always sneak a taste of one if you need to, just to be sure. <laughs> now that we've removed our scallops, we're gonna let them come over here and rest. We're gonna come back to this skillet and put just a little smidge of olive oil, but leave these good bits of flavor, okay? We're gonna add to this our shallots, and some chopped or minced garlic. So, and we're just gonna let these start to come together, okay? And keep these bits of flavor in here because I'm telling you these are good. Keep your temperature down a little bit though at first because you don't want that garlic to burn. And don't worry about the size of these pieces. We're going to push this through fine mesh sieve so that we can get a really nice, smooth sauce, okay? 
Oh yeah, that looks good. See how that flavor's coming? We're just releasing the flavor from the shallots, mixing it with the bits and the, oh, this looks delicious. And now we're gonna take some white wine. Now this is a Pinot Grigio I'm using today because that's what I had on hand, but you can use any white wine you have. Any, any white, pick a wine, any wine. Chardonnay will work, a Sauvignon Blanc will work. I would not recommend using something sweet like a Riesling, okay? But any of the dry white wines will work just fine. Okay, see that? Just put a little bit of that white wine in there. And then we're gonna also come back and squeeze some fresh lemon juice. Now, if you don't have fresh lemons, that's okay. You can use lemon juice out of the, the jar or anything. That's fine too, but we're just gonna give it a squeeze of this fresh lemon juice here. Oh, this is gonna give us that delicious lemon flavor in our cream sauce. There we go. You see how that's coming to a nice little boil together? And then we're gonna add our thyme. And we're going to bring these to a nice boil. Oh, it smells so good in here. I wish, I always say this, but I wish we were all here together so you all could smell it and we could eat it together. We would have a serious party. You see how that's coming together? That looks amazing. I'm gonna take this other lemon as well because you wanna have good lemon juice. You want a couple tablespoons of lemon juice, which is about the juice of a lemon-ish. <laughs> Bring this to a boil, like so. Let these flavors just come together and just, they just, they marry, kids, all that good stuff. They go out, they form a beautiful life. Mm. Oh, and you get to smell it. It's amazing. Once this is coming to a nice boil, we're gonna add a little bit of this heavy cream in there. Now you don't have to add a ton because we're not trying to make it a milk sauce, okay? All things in moderation. Amen and amen. Okay, you see that? Now I'm gonna add a little bit of cream here. Just a smidge for starters. Okay. Get something to put this on over here. See that? I'm just starting to bring this cream sauce together a little bit more. Put the heat up. Oops, almost dropped it, guys. You see that? That thyme flavor is getting in there, the wine and the cream, those shallots, everything is flavoring. Oh, this looks amazing. It smells so good. And see, the beauty of using this particular type of heavy cream is as it boils, the heavy cream will cook down. Okay, so you wanna bring this to a boil. If you want it to be, if you want more, add more cream. You can add more cream, you can add more wine. Just make sure that you keep whisking until you get them together. I am gonna add just a smidge more wine because more wine is always in order. Amen. Okay, thank you. Thank you for keeping me encouraged and a smidge more cream. And we're gonna bring this to a boil so it can begin to reduce as the, oil, as the cream thickens up. It takes about three to five minutes once it comes to a boil for the sauce to reduce and thicken. And you'll know when it's done because it'll look right to you. This is not a heavy gravy, so we're not making this something that's gonna be a thick roux-based sauce. This is really a nice light sauce to go with the scallops. Oh yeah, there she goes. Now if you want, you don't have to strain the sauce. I like to strain the sauce because I like to keep it smooth. But if you like these pieces of onion and garlic and thyme in there, by all means, do it, do it. I'm not gonna talk about you. I'm not gonna talk about you. It's your thing. Do what you want to do. Mm. Okay, I have to taste this, y'all. I cannot stand here and just keep smelling. Just gonna do just like that. See, you wanna let it keep going until it coats the back of the spoon. So see, I'm actually still cooking, I'm not just tasting. Mm, the fresh lemon in that, oh, oh my God. Oh my Lord. I'm gonna put a little more cream in. That Pinot is everything. Mmm, that's so good. I'm gonna hit a little, just a smidge of salt and pepper. 
It doesn't need a lot because the lemon flavor is so nice and fresh in there, but just a little salt. About a teaspoon, maybe half a teaspoon. A little bit of this fresh cracked pepper. that keep cooking down until it coats the back of our spoon. Well, we have to get another spoon though, because I taste it on the first one. <laughs> I'm not going to double dip. Y'all not going to talk about it. Well, you might, but it won't be because I double dip, even though I am in my own house cooking. But anyway, none of that is the point. <laughs> the point is this sauce looks amazing. And I'm going to get ready to strain it. Alrighty, are we ready? We are going to pour this into the bowl here. Let all the goodies get caught there. Okay. Y'all know I'm nervous, right? You can tell. There we go. Okay. And you want to make sure that you've gotten out. One second. Make sure you've gotten all your bits out because you're trying to get it smooth. Now we want the bits out. Okay, like so. Back on the heat, push it through. This you can just discard. We don't need this anymore. These have done their job. They have flavored our sauce. We still have a few little time pieces in it, but that's okay. Back in it goes. I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit. See that, look how beautiful that is. Turning my heat down and we're gonna add our scallops back. Look at that guys. How beautiful is that? This is like a lovely romantic dinner you can make at home with some steaks or something, you know? And you don't have to go out and to a restaurant to get good scallops. You know how to make good scallops. <laughs> And whatever cooking needs to still be done on them, the scallops themselves, they'll finish cooking in this sauce. Oh, is that not beautiful? Let me find a place for this one. There's room for everybody. There we go. And I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of fresh parsley. That flavor is always good in there. Look at that. Mmm. How hard was that? It wasn't. Beautiful, isn't it? So we are going to plate these babies up. You can just like so. Okay, here we go. And if you're wondering about the sauce over the top of them, don't worry, we're not done. We want the sauce to sit in them first, for them to sit in the sauce. Okay, well, this plate might not be big enough. This is a good problem to have. You know, scallops are also very high in protein. I feel like I played that on a crossword puzzle somewhere one time. <laughs> the scallops are high. I don't know. Okay, y'all caught me, I'm making stuff up now. Whatever, there we go, okay? And just drizzle this sauce all on top, like so. Is that not beautiful, fam? This is so delicious, I cannot wait to dig in. I can't wait, can't wait. All right. And we have a little extra sauce up here that you can use when you're serving it, if you need it. And we're gonna give this a taste. Whoa, whoa, look at the fresh parsley on that. This is just beautiful. It's pretty if nothing else. I'm gonna taste a small one, fam, because I'm really working on not looking greedy on camera, because I'm tasting. This is not eating, this is tasting, okay? So I'm being very good. This is a little one, look at that. Hello, baby. How are you? 
You're my new best friend. He's, she's hot right now though. And if I bite her, she's gonna bite back because my tongue is gonna burn. And then I'm gonna look like a fool. <laughs> and the web is worldwide, baby. Everybody will see it. Okay, let's see. Mm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Flavor, everything. Oh man. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Man, I hope you try these. This lemon cream sauce is amazing. Tastes absolutely delicious. You will be in love. You will want to sear your own scallops all the time. And I don't blame you. All right, fam, thank you so much. I'll see you next time right here in the Love Lab for Calabama Cooking with your girl, Chef Lorius. Happy cooking.